Hello friends. Today we will see how to download the Deco driver for Selenium. So in order to open a Mozilla Firefox page. Okay, for that first we'll go to Selenium dot d slash downloads enter and then first we'll download the geco driver just scroll down and then at the end you will see a browser just tap on it and then you will see the Firefox, the Geco driver is implemented and supported by Mozilla. So just click on refer to the documentation. And then you will see like mapping between Geco driver releases. So just click on Geco driver releases. And then you will find this assets in which according to the OS which you have, you can just download it. And before that, you can just see whether the whether the Firefox that you have is, is an updated version. For that, you can just go to Firefox. We'll see whether the Firefox has been updated, is it up to date, so that we'll be able to do it, okay? So now the Firefox is being opened. So I just click on Firefox and about Firefox. So that you see like Firefox is up to date, which means like I don't want to update anything. So if you have anything else to update here, you can update it and then download the Geco driver so that it fits into it. Okay, so now we go to the Geco driver, downloads. So I have a Mac OS, so I'm, going, I'm just going to download this. Just click on it. And then it gets downloaded. So just tap on it. You have to extract the GIF so that you can get a path so that you can use it in the code. Yeah, it's expanding. So this is the file which we downloaded, and this is the uh, this is the zip file, and this is the file which is not zip. So yeah, now we'll go to the Eclipse. Just tap on Eclipse. And then go to project, like I have created a project. Otherwise, if you are opening the Eclipse for the first time, it will ask to just put a name for the project name. So you can just create any name of yours and then right click on it. And then new. I have to create a package first so that I just create a package. And then say the name as package one. Click on finish. So see under the project, the package has been created. So now I want a class inside a package so that I can code into it. So right click new, new class. So it says inside the package, package one. If you don't, if you have several packages, you can just change names. And name I give as the code driver. public static one and just click on it and then tap finish. So a package package one has been created and a class Geco driver under the package one has been created what we did it right now. Okay, so inside it, yeah. Now we have to configure the Geco driver path into it so that we can open a Firefox browser. Okay, for that, first we write as system dot set property. App driver dot geco dot driver. Comma, yeah, the comma is already over there. So yeah, you can just close the codes over here. So this is the constant for the Geco driver and it cannot be changed. And here we have to enter the path. 
where we have downloaded now. So which was in downloads, right? So it was in downloads. Now just open the terminal. Now the terminal is being opened. So drag and drop this. So here, this is the path now we have found out. So just click on it, just drag it and choose it. And then press on Command C or right click and click on copy. So that you get a path copied. And then you can just press Command V or paste it over here. So this is the path that the Geeko driver is going to work on. Okay. So the next line would be like web driver. Driver is equal to new Firefox driver. So now web driver is the interface and driver is an object that I have created. You can put any name over here. And the new is a space allocated for it. And the Firefox driver is a class which cannot be changed. You have to enter the same for opening a Firefox driver using Geeko driver. Okay, now the next line is going to be, now we are going to open a web browser. So dot get any, web, uh, any website that you're going to open. Like I'm just typing the google.com, open codes. Okay. www.google.com. Now it shows me of a hint, just click on it. And then it says import Firefox driver. So then just click on it, double tap on it so that it's imported so that the Firefox driver works. Okay, just click on it to complete. Okay, I think I did not enter. Yeah, semicolon is missing over here. So just, uh, just for this, you can just save the file or command S. Just save the file. And then click on run button over here. So just click on run. Let us see what happens. Just don't leave any space over here. If you just leave a space, then it will not run. So just, I have left the space over here. Now we'll try running it, but it will not run. Yeah, it shows some errors over here. So don't leave a space over here. When you copy and paste it, it automatically leaves space over here. So please do delete it. And then just click on save, run as, so now our Firefox driver has been just opening up. So we have entered the google.com to be open. So it is open. So. You can just notice here the orange color ones. So like this picture would be there. The browser is under the remote control. When you just click on it. Okay. Yeah, now the code works fine for us. So yeah. So by this line, it just opens a new Firefox window alone. And when we just say any website to be open, you can just paste it over here, like facebook.com or, or amazon.com and we'll just get open. Thank you.